Hey there, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ, and in this video, I'll show those of you who are transitioning over from Serato and are used to that workflow some tips and tweaks so you can feel a little more at home in Virtual DJ. Now, when you first open Virtual DJ, you'll be presented with our starter skin. I'll show you how to change this in a second, but first, you'll notice in the left-hand folder list, Virtual DJ will have your local music folder expanded. Now, you can scroll down or collapse this folder in order to see the special crates folder. Now, click on the plus to expand, and you'll see your Serato crates displayed. Now click on each crate to view its contents. Now that we can see our crates and our tracks, let's go ahead and load some into the decks. You can do this by dragging and dropping a track onto a deck or by double clicking. Now that we have some tracks loaded, let's change the skin to something a little more familiar. Click here and select the Performance Layout skin. To configure the Waveform Location display, go back into the Layout Options menu and choose either Below or the Traditional Vertical display. And you can also configure the Jogs display to show track information along with the Needle Marker. Additionally, you can show or hide additional racks such as the Mixer Rack, the Effects Rack, and the Video Mixer Rack as well as hide them. Now, if you're used to using keyboard shortcuts, you can easily configure the Serato keyboard shortcuts in Settings Mapping tab. In the Mapping dropdown for the keyboard, select Serato Compatible. Back in the decks, you will notice that hot cue behavior is different when a deck is paused, as when you trigger a hot cue, Virtual DJ will continue playing from that point. Now, if you would rather stutter behavior, you can easily set this in Settings Options tab. Search for the option Hot Cue Mode and set to stutter. Now, when you trigger a hot cue with the deck paused, Virtual DJ will return to that point when the hot cue is released. Also, if you're a DVS user, you will notice that Virtual DJ will stop a deck and return to the last used cue point when the track is over. Now, if you wish to change this behavior and keep the deck playing, then you can go back into Settings, Options tab, search for the option Keep Playing, and enable Keep Playing Past End. And you also might want to enable the Keep Play status on Song Load, which will keep the deck playing if you load a track on a playing deck. And finally, if you want to review any of the settings I have shown here, simply highlight the Crate's parent icon folder and click on the link to bring up a web page that explains all of these tweaks in more detail.